Hey everybody, Future Jacob here. Tell me you call yourself Future Jacob. Because I'm from the future. I know it's weird though. <laughs> so in today's video, you can find an interrupting wife. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Oh. <laughs> Cute baby stuff. We go for a walk. We play with toys. We play with toys. It was a pretty pretty low key day. The internet was down, so for most of it. So, so Jacob I, couldn't play on his phone. I do. I don't play on my phone, but I play on my phone a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's the longest intro ever. Longest intro ever. It was a pretty chill day. I hope you all enjoy the video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel. It's a little button right there that says subscribe on it. You should click on it if you already have. Thank you very much. Make sure you click that bell. And give us a like before you go any further. Because you're going to like this video. Give it a like. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. We got up and our internet was out. <laughs> And then I called the internet company, and they don't know what's wrong. They said, oh, it could be an outage. So we're hoping this video actually gets posted on time. <laughs> it may not. So if it doesn't, we're very sorry. But they're going to do their best. So good morning to everybody. Gabriel, you watching the Today Show? This kid likes the Today Show. Gabriel took a nap. I took a shower. Now he's up. If I figure out how to zoom in. And he's hungry. So I'm waiting on the longest countdown in the entire world to finish so his bottle will be warm. He's got a minute and a half left. A minute and a half. All better. So, we're cord cutters. If you're, uh, if you're not familiar with that term, that means we don't have cable. We use uh, uh, an internet streaming device like Roku or Apple TV to get our TV stuff. Like, we subscribe to Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and everything like that. There are very, very few cons to being a cord cutter. Uh, we've, we've done it, we did it years ago, several, several years ago. Saved a ton of money. But every now and then, the internet goes out and you don't have TV or you don't have Netflix and all that stuff. We do have an antenna, so we do get local channels. And here in the DFW area, that means we get like 65, 70 something random channels. You know, you get your big ones, ABC, NBC, Fox, CBS, that kind of stuff. So we can watch normal TV with commercials like regular people. <laughs> um, or we can stream, and typically we like to stream, but days like today, the internet is out, and the shows that we usually rely on to uh, keep things calm are not here. So, we jump over to PBS Kids, see what Thomas the Train or Clifford's up to, and oh man, Lord help us if it's Caillou. That kid's, that, that kid's terrible. Yeah, it's Thomas. Woohoo! Alright, so this one's been fed and napped a couple times. We've been cooped up in the house watching PBS, playing with toys. So I thought it was time to get out. It's a little cool, a little dreary today. But uh, not too cool, but either way, he's. Let me figure that out. He's bundled up. Got his hoodie on, his cute little hat. We're gonna go for a walk down to the park and back. You excited? You ready? All right. I don't know if y'all can see this, but the geese have brought traffic to a grinding halt over by the park. That's hilarious. Geese are jerks. Those people need to just get it. There's a FedEx truck. 
Those people just need to get out and shoot the geese away. Uh, that's hilarious. You got your feet up at the park? Some days you just gotta go to the park and put your feet up. So it's, it's a legitimate dreary day. Uh, it's in the 60s, maybe the low, the high 50s, low 60s, uh, overcast, cloudy. I mean, slightly, slight breeze. So it's, it's cool. I got my chai tea, you know, for the road. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan of days like today. Feels like fall to me. So we walk by the, the little playground over there and there's leaves in the swing. There's leaves all over the, the ground out here. And uh, and I, I just like it. This is my kind of weather. Make it just a hair colder and then I could, I could do this for a while. I like this kind of weather. Sometimes you gotta put up both feet. All right, so it's time for the honesty portion of our walk. I like being honest with you guys while we're out on our little strolls. This is uh, what we've, what I have started referring to as me and Gabriel's positivity walks. We take every day. During the first five or ten minutes of the walk, I like to list out loud things that I'm thankful for. You know, I'm thankful to live in a city that has a lot of opportunities. Uh, I'm thankful for the cooler weather. I'm thankful for that Sarah has a job that allows me to stay home with Gabriel. You know, those kinds of things. I lift them off and I, I feel like it feeds my positive energy, which in turn puts me in a better mood, you know, makes me happier and things like that. And, and that positive energy uh, feeds Gabriel's positive energy. And we always knew I mean, real early on that he was one of the happiest babies we've ever seen. This kid is always smiling, doesn't get upset very often, except when you try to put him down for a nap or when he's hungry. But other than that, he's always happy. And we want to continue to nurture that in him. We want him to grow up to be just a positive, optimistic kid. And um, so one of the things I'm doing to try to, I guess, train that or nurture that in him is to be as a positive person myself optimistic seeing the good things you know in everyday life and trying to say those out loud speaking them out into the universe you know being thankful and uh, setting that example for him so that he grows up to continue being a smiling he'll be a smiling baby becomes a smiling adolescent hopefully a smiling teenager, and then a positive adult that can, you know, hopefully keep that going on with his kids and so on. So we just want to be a positive example. You know, and something else that we're doing like that is we tell him, you are a kind, generous, loyal person. So we kind of instill those traits in him from a very early age. And I've been saying that to him every day. I've got a list that I say, you know, every morning, midday, you know, at some point, usually takes place while I'm changing his diaper. You know, I have him kind of captive on the table, and I tell him, you are a good person. And because I want him to grow up believing that, and to know that about himself, that he is a good person, he's a positive person, he's a loyal person, he's generous, you know, those positive traits. So, we'll see, hopefully it'll work. Anyway, I just realized it's time for him to eat some solid food, and uh, <laughs> I haven't had lunch yet either, so it's time for me to eat some solid food also. Today's starting to get away from me a little bit, so uh, we're going to head back to the house, and I think I'll give this kid some more apples. He seemed to really like that yesterday. I got some sweet potatoes, but they need to be thawed, and that's going to take too much time, so I'm just going to give him some apples. He likes that. Time for some apples. They cold.
Kid's got some apples in him. And he's ready to drop some balls into that cow. Or chicken. Well, all right. You get credit for that. <laughs> there are a lot of things going on here that I don't quite understand. All right, there's a chicken in the cow hand. You chewing on the chicken feet. I like it. The kid plays by his own rules. Can you pull it out? <laughs> well, there you go. And now we're chewing on it. Nope. He's forcing the chicken down in there. He's in there. I can't get it out. All right, well, I'm gonna have to figure that out later. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a very late lunch and then Sarah's coming home a little bit early because I gotta take care of a few things out in the world this evening, so. I'm gonna eat some lunch, and then hopefully she'll be here pretty soon. Show me how you can do it with that. <laughs> well, that's putting it in something. <laughs> can you get it out? Good job. You were so smart. Put it in here. Put it in there. Good job. You're so smart! Yes! Good job, buddy! Put it on there. Oh, close. Close, baby. You want to leave it? Put it on there. Close! You can do it. Oh, that was very close. Good job. Oh, you're sleepy. You just woke up. Here, do it. Yay! Good job, buddy. You don't even act. You are so smart. You don't even care that mommy's excited. Good job. Yes. You are so smart. Hey. Look, it's you and me. It's you and me. It's you and me. <laughs> it's you and me. Are we playing in your baby pen? Are we playing in your baby pen? You busy? You gotta go? You gotta go exploring? What'd you do to your cheek? Too much hard playing? Too much hard playing? <laughs> Thus ends today. Oh, that was a pretty good day. We went for a walk. It was enjoyable. <laughs> Toys were played with. Did he figure out the ring toy for you? No. <gasps> good. He figured it out for you? Yep. <sighs> I miss everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel to see more click on the little bell so you get the notifications and leave us a comment tell us anything you want to say positive things you want to say positive things nobody says anything mean but we like positive things you got to cut that out that was a little too passive aggressive <laughs> passive aggressive <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time.